Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings, and this is the next video in the series. We are making clinic management system. If you are interested, then do watch until the end. Hopefully, you will learn thing or two from this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure that you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Right. So before this video, I have already made three videos. I I guess for the same system so if you haven't watched those then i would strongly suggest that you do the reason i'm asking to do that is because i've created database in sql and i've demonstrated that in which we have created tables we have created relationships primary keys and whole lot of stuff and then we have connected that sql database to the user interface which is microsoft access so now the next step is we start building and putting together the user interface which means start making the forms so there are two types of forms as of uh, as of uh, my uh, awareness about microsoft access there is one type that's called tab control and then there's other type which is overlinking overlink type uh, form um so we i generally make overlink type, which is which means in other words you might have seen in my videos if you have seen that the form opens as a pop-up so every single form opens as a pop-up that's overlink type so what i'm thinking is with this series i would go with the hybrid approach which means some of the forms we will use as a tab control and some of the forms we will uh, create as um, the overlink type so keep that in mind i'll show you at the end what do i mean by that now in this video first of all what i would like to do is i would like to start creating the uh, main form which is sort of dashboard and login form as well so i will set up that and then you know with that uh, built in with that having buttons to navigate within the application it will make our job easier as a developer and for you it will be easier to actually follow what exactly i'm trying to do so this is what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to make the form which acts as a dashboard and navigation so to do that i will uh, hover my mouse over to create button in the ribbon and i click on that and i get a, a ribbon in that i get a couple of options one of the area that i'm interested in for this video uh, is forms so what do we mean by that well we can create a couple of forms you can see there are various options i have the wizard i have blank form uh, form design I click on navigation form, more forms, model forms, etc., etc. So there is there's a lot that is going on in here. So at the moment, what I would do is I would choose uh, either form design or blank form. So let's click on form design or blank form. Let's click on form design. So it will take us to uh, a little form that will be created, and it's in the um, it's in the uh, design mode. Now we will go back to the form view, and this is how this form looks like. It's clean but it's not really clean right so what i would like to do is i would like to get rid of this record selector i would like to get rid of these navigation buttons and i would like to have a caption and a little more cleaner form so let's go ahead and do that so we'll go to design view of this form and in here we'll go to the properties of this form if the property window is not open you can simply uh, click in the upper left corner basically you're selecting form right click on that and you will be presented with the option called properties so you click on properties you get the property window as well now in here what i would like you to do is to, in order to get rid of the record selector and the navigation button there is option here right so the options are record selector at the moment yes will turn to no navigation button at the moment yes will turn to no and on top of that we will uh, turn off the scroll bars because technically speaking this is a single form so scroll bars are actually not required so scroll bars from both we will say neither then um, i will change the caption so let's say i will type in here so rather okay first of all i will save this form then i'll change the caption um, because if i will change the caption now and then i will save the form it will actually override the caption with whatever name i will be giving to the form that's according to my experience okay now let's give a name to this form so as i said this form will act as a dashboard main form so i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to give a name called main all right we'll hit enter and now i can give caption to this form but before i do that i will i'll turn this to a form view and we will see that it looks cleaner 
and I can see a couple of things right away which I would like to change. One of the things is obviously the caption which I've been talking about, but the other thing is that the close button. You can keep the close button as of now, but I would say you will see me turning it off when we will actually get ready uh, to package this application. At that time, you don't want this close button. If you want to keep it, then you can have a little bit of coding behind it. Maybe you want to create a logbook uh, for each activity. So you want to have uh, activity recorded. That's where you can actually keep this close button and on close event you can create to capture what uh, a certain user has done i don't know how much you have understood with my explanation uh, we'll go to right click and i'll go to design view and i'll change the caption and the caption could be for example loop um, clinic something like that right management system okay only loop learnings can tell you all of these uh in all detail videos so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure that you do hit the bell icon now let's go back to the form view you know you can go to the form view from here as well you see here so right now this is selected so this is design view this is layout view this is data sheet view and this is form view so rather than i go to ribbon i click on a home tab or and i go to views and then form i can simply click here in order to go to form view there you go now we've got the caption as well next what i would like to do is i would like to have a little header uh, for form and then we'll create some buttons uh, as well so let's go to design view and right click in here and we'll choose form header and footer so i'll choose that and the moment i did i got a little header on the top of the form i would like to change the color though so we'll go to the format tab shape fill and i'll choose this uh, uh, dark blue which i really like for some reason i like i like this color we'll um, turn off the footer we don't actually need i uh, will uh, minimize a little bit all right once i'm done with that i'll see how it looks like so we have got little header on the top um so i would like to have a couple of text boxes here two text boxes that will show who has logged on to the system and what's their name or what's their designation right so i would like to have that information displayed here which means i need to have two text boxes so we'll grab the text boxes from here and i'll give a name to these text boxes so we'll say txt name all right and we'll get rid of this label we don't need i'll expand this a little bit okay and i'm going to copy this text box and i'm going to paste and i'm going to name it txt designation on it and we can perhaps uh, change the width of this text box okay and we will move this text box in here to this edge all right we'll expand a little bit i think we should because i would need some area to work with okay once we are done with that i'm going to go to the form view uh oh these text boxes are kind of in the middle but i want them always be positioned here on this side so how do i do that well let's look at this so the text boxes are selected I will go to the property sheet of these both text boxes. We'll go to the format tab and I'll scroll down till the end. You can see here there's an option called horizontal anchor. So right now it is left, but I'll make it towards the right. Now I will save it. And also I want to get rid of this back color, which is white. So I want to get rid of that. So I'll go to the uh, color and then make it, uh, you can see that the, it's gone then i want to make the text color as white color all right now let's go back to the form view and let's see how does it look like yeah cool great so that's done now next thing i want to do is i want to have some buttons here now how many buttons and for what we need buttons well i will have some buttons four buttons to be very specific I want to have buttons to manage the patient record, master data. I want to have button to manage doctor's master data. I want to have buttons to manage the visits information. And I also want to have a button to manage the medicine information. So I want to have these four buttons placed nicely here. So how do we do that? Well, it's easy. It's not difficult. We'll go back to design view. We'll go to the form design. I'll grab this button control and I'll paste in here. I'll cancel the property and uh, cancel the visit and I'll say manage uh, patients. All right, patients. Okay, so that's done. I'll double click here. 
all right and i will increase the height a little bit so we get uh, you know nice big uh, button as if this button is on the dashboard and we'll say here manage doctors okay we'll copy the same button and we'll say manage visits and we'll copy the same button and we'll say manage medicine okay we'll select all of them we will go to the home tab and we will change the color of the text to full black right now we have got the buttons let's see how the form view looks like here we go i've got the buttons now what i would like to do is i would like to change their name so we don't have any problem when we start coding so btn uh, patients okay then we have doctors so we'll call it btn doctors then we'll have visits so we can call it btn visits and then we have medicine so we'll call it btn medicine all right so we give the names uh, to all of the controls that we have got onto the form and let's now increase the height a little bit right i would like to change the height a little bit so from one perhaps to 1.1 yeah and i'll unselect this i will just place them nicely all right here we go okay so that's done now the next thing i would like to do is i would like to have a login form all right now login form the idea is that whenever uh, we will log on this obviously this form will open by default but whenever this form opens i want to have the login form appears as pop-up form and it will ask for users to log on first in order to proceed to the database and application so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close this form i'm going to go to navigation pane and in here i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it all right and we'll give a name called login f all right so right click design view and we'll get rid of all of these buttons of course we don't need and we'll actually minimize the height of the form and we'll get rid of these text boxes also and we'll minimize the width of the form because we we don't want it's as big as the other form now i'll go to the form design property sheet others tab of the property sheet we'll make it pop up uh, yes cycle all record no current record only so we'll save that and we'll go to the form design again i'll grab two text boxes one for username and the other one for uh, the password okay so we've got the text box so we'll call it txt user name and the caption here would be user name or user id whatever you wish to have and that's done so we'll copy up oh, let's make the font color full black and i would like to have the height to be changed to 0 0.3 and top margin 0.05 all right we'll select that okay i'll expand a little bit we'll give a little bit more space and we'll expand the label as well now i'm going to copy this paste in here and we will name it password okay so that's done now i would like to have two buttons one is for canceling one is for login so we'll go to the form design uh, form uh, sorry the the form design tab and we'll click here because there's a noise going on a little bit so i'm very conscious of that noise that is construction going on so that's why i'm sometime my attention goes to that construction noise whether that is being captured in the audio or not i have no idea i have to listen uh, again to see if that is being captured anyway uh let's get it done quickly so we have login button and now we'll make another button called cancel button so if the login needs to be cancelled so user can actually cancel the button uh cancel the uh, action so we'll call it btn cancel and we'll call this as btn login okay and that's done and we'll change the caption of this form as well so we'll say log login login to cms something like that okay and we'll now go to the form view and it's nicely pop up but i want to get rid of this uh, control box as well on the top so we'll go to design view and i will turn off the control box turn to no and now if i'll go we'll have no control box in here great now i want this form to open with the main form all right 
So we have to do a little bit of coding behind the uh, main form. So we'll go to the event tab, onload event dot 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 code builder. And in here, I want to change it. I want to have one line of code, do cmd dot open form. And we'll give a name, login f. That's it. Okay. Anyway, now we'll open it. And there you go. You can see that this form is opening with the main form. Okay. I will open it again. So let's say we'll go to design view. We'll come back to form view. There you go. Now it's not doing anything. There's no function. There's nothing because we haven't done any programming behind any of the button, any of the control. The idea is to set up the skeleton and then from that skeleton take it away. You know, make it more functional by using the VBA code. And that's what we are going to do with the passage of time and with making these videos. I hope that you have learned something from this video. I'm sorry if there was a noise in the background. Apologies for that. Um, if you have learned something, even if you have not, please do let me know in the comments below. And I want to thank all of you for your support. I want to thank especially to those who have actually become the member of this channel. So really appreciate uh, uh, that you are supporting this channel. I appreciate it. Uh, do subscribe, like, share, all of that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.